Right, so uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading, May 11th to May 17th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a, a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. So that being set aside, moving to the uh, Gemini uh, general tarot reading here for the week, for the first card, which marks the very topic of your week, Gemini, that is to be judgment. Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic, that will be the tree of wands. Followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, that will be the hermit. Followed by the next one, which stands for the gifts and the blessings. That you can enjoy throughout the week that will be the uh, queen of swords moving next we are having the impression that you are leaving into the people around that will be the eight of wands and the last one which stands for the guidance the tower is offering we have a d6 of uh, the six of cups so um <clears throat> uh, the, this week itself it will be like a um like a directional sign for you so what we do have it is those energies of the tree of wands which pretty much points that you are to solidify a certain position at that particular uh, stage for throughout the week and on top of it as you do solidify those patterns and those positions through the energies <clears throat> then those energies are going to make you think what you can ac accomplish even more or in another words, you know what kind of a ship you can board from now on to move forward forward toward a leap of a new developments, like leap of a new develop, developments into your career or new developments into your relationship. But those energies are going to make the, uh, the environment in a, such a state throughout this uh, particular week that your expectations, whatever those are, are going to match with what is going on around. So whatever you expect to happen, if you challenge yourself to do it, it uh, is going to happen the way you are expecting it to do so. And that itself is going to provoke the situation itself or, or the topic of the week, that it is the judgment card. And judgment, it is like um, uh, pieces of the puzzle fit into the place where it are. So the, the picture becomes one whole and uh, it pretty much plays a role mainly into those kind of a situations in those kind of an enterprises where a person is baffled and you know he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know how to react because there are many uncertainties well this week it is because of the solidifying of your patterns and those energies that will allow you to challenge or is going to push you to challenge yourself are uh, <clears throat> You are going to undertake those kind of matters, you know, and those kind of, um, you know, aspects of your career or of your relationship, which are uncertain, which are breeding a sense of insecurity and uh, pretty much you're going to sort them out. So the whole pieces of your puzzle are going to snap where they are, uh, where they belong to. And uh, you're going to have a pretty clear picture how to move on forward from now on. So, so everything is going to take the place that it belongs. And that itself is going to allow you to make a, a strong breakthrough in terms of career or in terms of relationship life as well. Now, if I have to estimate in terms of relationship, especially for a single people, those cards, to me at least, it does speak for a... Uh, identification of someone who is very very compatible and as such also a very uh, big possibility for establishing a relationship moving forward into the future with that particular person uh, the next one uh, the next card that we do have is going to represent the challenges that you will have to face and over and overcome and that is going to be the hermit so pretty big one uh, in terms of challenges <clears throat> because um the hermit stands for one salvation and one substantial direction and therefore it will be challenging for you to address that direction and to address that substantial enterprise itself for one or another reason i do suspect that is going to happen because one of the two reasons uh the first one is lack of belief that actually things can work out although you kind of fit the whole picture uh right now and you pretty much know what it is to follow and what is to happen next 
Or the second reason, it is um, simply because it will be way too difficult for you, or rather like you are may, may anticipate that it will be more difficult than actually it was at the end. And uh, that is pretty much a challenge of the universe, if you will, because it tests you how much you do want that thing to happen, you know, that thing into your career or that thing into your relationship life. Um, now, one thing I can advise you as we do have the hermit into a negative position or rather like into the challenging position is not to make a decision based on your emotional state, but rather make a decision based on your intellectual abilities, your wisdom uh, uh, and pretty much your intelligence. Now, before you make a decision um, of how you are to undertake, you know, uh, the enterprise of this week, which is going to be a, an awesome one, as we can so, as we saw here from the uh, from the first two cards, uh, you need to withdraw yourself a little bit from the ideas of the world and from the ideas of others as well, uh, just so you can identify what works for you and what is that substantial direction that it is yours to take. It is not of your best friend, it is not of your colleague, it is not of your uh, supervisor or your boss, it is not of your husband or a wife, it is your uh, direction that you need to take. And uh, whoever is to applaud you by going on that direction, that's great. Whoever doesn't, well, obviously they do not have a place around you. So moving next, we do have uh, the, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the gift and the blessing of uh, the uh, Queen of Swords. So that is a person. And obviously you're going to be gifted uh, and blessed to have that person around you. So what this one does for you, it is that they had a similar experience of what kind of experience you do have throughout the week. So they also had that uh, build up of the full picture, you know, and everything have been sorted out and it have been, um, how can I say it, um, fit in its place. And just as you, that person had to make a choice, should they take advantage of it and push themselves, challenge themselves to develop it? or should they back off? So unfortunately they backed off and they understand what they have lost. And therefore, in your case here, that person is going to um, encourage you to take the risk, quote unquote, although it's not gonna be much of a risk, it just it's gonna seem that way. But in reality, it is your general direction. Well, well the judgment kind of speaks for a wake-up call. We all know that. And, and you have to answer that wake-up call as uh, with it, you know, once again, repeating myself, it is that your picture of the unfoldment of your career and relationship will become pretty clear. Uh, and also you can expect... Um, a huge portion of help from the Queen of Swords as that individual can definitely make the things go forward. They are capable to push any kind of thing through. While their methods may be a bit rough, but you know, hey, the, uh, the results does justify the means. And so the next one, it is uh, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. We do have the Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands pretty much points that people are going to see you very advantageous in the sense of that you are taking advantage of the opportunities that come around. And from one side as well, very lucky, it is because people will see you as a person who does have an options available to choose from and uh, does have a stir into their life as well. It is like you are not facing a, a wall. Now, you may be facing a wall um, in, your, um, in your personal life, but this isn't what people see. And for that reason, uh, people are going to be unusually uh, engaging when it comes to interactions with you and, uh, and them. Uh, and also they will try to, uh, not to deprive you of taking any advantage of whatsoever, but rather to uh, breed a bit of a sense if they see that what you are trying to do is very risky, but how risky it is, only you can identify and only you can decide. So ultimately, at the end of the day, um, it should be your call that's, uh, ident that defines are you going to go for a certain um, you know, development or not and not people's call. 
And the last card that we do have for you, Gemini, it is the Six of Cups, which represents the guidance that Tsar is offering. So in that particular case, uh, the Six of Cups plays a role of, uh, of that guides you to, or rather urges you to pretty much go for what uh, makes you excited uh, and, happy, and happy as well, but first and foremost, and excited. Speaking of which, you know, it is that if you go, if that regards to your career development, that the Six of Cups uh, represents that you gotta go for what allows you to express yourself creatively, because creative expression is what makes one excited, and that could be your cue as well, your wake up call. I mean, there is, there couldn't be anything else than that to be your wake up call. And um, if we uh, talk about your relationship life, the Six of Cups then urges you to go for the person that uh, pretty much connects with you on emotional and physical level as well. In other words, makes you feel excited. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading, Gemini. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And with that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.